Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WEV Radio. Relax and enjoy the sounds of the Drunk Seven MTV Music Video Awards. To the Funky Divas of Soul and Bo. For Soul Train Awards. These girls can sing. Seven Grammy nominations. <laughs> Everybody, this is the Funky Divas Podcast. What up, what I'm Cindy. up? I'm Terry. I'm Rona. And, and we're, we're in Vogue. Vogue. And this is the Funky Divas Podcast. That's Show right. Welcome back, everybody, to the Funky Divas Podcast. Yes. Yes. Our show is very physical. And yeah. so, number one, we have to keep ourselves in great physical shape. Right. We have to make sure we get cardio Excuse in right. so that we can breathe and sing. Because we still Hello. sing. <laughs> we still sing live. Yeah, and, and we still and do dance. our choreography that originally we do, that we, do we learned from right. Frank Gatson yeah. and Travis and so, um, Lavelle. Part of, of what goes into is it have, having a, a really good um, exercise regime, yeah. making sure that we eat clean and we don't consume a lot of junk. We get a lot of water. We get adequate rest, you know, as best <sighs> as we can. Mm-hmm. Um, because all of that is what m- allows us to be able to to give and live and perform yeah. on so, stage so, and so, be that. So, so do you think it's all just weight? Because I think voluptuous works. I think so. Yes, absolutely. I think voluptuous works It's healthy voluptuous is what I call it. Yeah. I don't think my butt is going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all I can do is keep it, keep yeah. it tight and in shape. Because keep that's something tight, that I right. had to, uh, like I'm remember hippie. Lavelle was always wanting somebody to be like a pencil, you know. But what I've learned now is... Um, it's, there's a healthy voluptuous. Yeah. Is that, is that oh, yeah. the right word? No, you know, it's you know? beautiful. Yeah, yeah you know. absolutely. But, but but health is what we're talking about. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You, you know. can be voluptuous. Uh, you know, voluptuous, it's because it is beautiful and very accepting. Mm-hmm. But you got to be able to, you can't be huffing and puffing on stage. Right, that's like, different. If, 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 right. You're da- if, you, if, you, that's if a part of your show is you're singing and you're doing a lot of movement, just m- allow yourself to be in the kind of physical shape where you can get through that movement and you're not huffing and puffing. Yeah, you know? but you know, the main yeah. reason I think being fit, it's like when you, like for some reason when you're fit and you eat clean and you let sweat come out of your pores, you ain't got to wear that much makeup then. No one understands that, you know, like like your face becomes chiseled, you know, um, you can get away with less now, you know. Yeah, I see but with the contouring the, the, yeah, and you, all. you understand what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, it's like your, your skin looks oh, healthier. Yeah. It, it okay. glows, you know, yeah. you can get away with some lip gloss and some rouge. Is rouge, they still do rouge? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's okay. blush. Blush. Yes, yeah. They yeah. call it yes, blush. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay, just but another name but for like, blush. It's, 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 like, you know, the girls I work with, you know, I always, you know, star, you know the, yes. I Shout always be like, mm-hmm. I, I always be like, y'all, y'all so worried about makeup. Well, it's, Frank, yeah. that all women are like that, you know. And, yeah, but, but, but especially but, when they're young. Yeah, but but but, yes, but there's but there's a yeah, clean the, the makeup culture thing now that can happen. It's all about makeup. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all about it's makeup. The pop culture. Yes, yeah, it's but, pop but, but, culture. It's a, but it's a clean but makeup you can that do a can clean happen. Makeup. You, you can make. But you're like talking about preference now. Looking very fresh. Yeah, and but natural. but but preference is important because I feel like something about me. I'm good at what I do. I've learned that mm-hmm. recently. Yeah. That's that's a shame. I never patted myself on the back uh-huh. until recently. Well, we gonna do it for you. Okay. And and what I and and I'm telling you, women are getting it wrong. Straight men do not want a woman to look like a drag queen, okay? These I, I was at the Bayou Classics in the lobby the other day, and and I just the lace front. Why is it so deep to have it down by your eyebrow? <laughs> like why? Like why? Why is it so deep? Like 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 there's something great about the natural hair. Sometimes there's something great about seeing the wig have the hairline come out of the head the right way. But the, you got a lot of men that like the no, wigs I have I, no and straight that. men. Shout out to all the straight men in the world. Straight men, y'all got it wrong. Y'all competing with the white girls. And and, 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 and and straight black men do not want that fake hair like you think they do. Now, if well, it's I good, I just wonder what popping. happens at nighttime when you take it off. Yeah, you know? but, but if you're popping with it and it's done, it and it's done oh, well, I think it's fine. And I've had this argument with a lot of girls. You know, I, I can name Shantae Moore and Cheryl Cobb, and we were all in the kitchen one okay, time. Okay, let's not call names. Yeah, yeah. but, she, but you know, and, 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 and they got evil with me. No, <laughs> no, the brothers, they love those Kim Kardashian types, and they love da, 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 And I'm saying, no, I don't think so. And then it was a brother that was dating <laughs> Shantae, and he said, Frank is right. Y'all be in competition with each other. Hmm. Well, I've, I've heard that before, that women yeah. dress for other women. I don't. Because I don't think nobody would be tripping on how I look. And in Vogue, has always been wifey material. Oh, thank you. But I've always found that from a media standpoint, that women respect it in Vogue. Right. For representing, you know, um, black women. Mm -hmm. Um, Naturally, I mean, 
Cindy. But, but they had a four babies though, and looking like you look. They, they you had know, a wigs amazing. though, but they no, had they, they were good. But they were always very. Pieces. It was always very down to earth and very organic. And I think people always sensed that you understood the importance of beauty from the inside out. And they knew how to stand you the know. door and make sure the men opened the door. Come on, women, chivalry is alive still. You know, like that's what I loved about them. Like, they, uh, hopefully. They, they still carry that. Does that make sense, though? It's like there's something dirty about a lot of bad eyelashes. It's something dirty <laughs> about a wig that looks like it stinks. It's something bad about that. Okay? There's something bad about yeah, that. Yeah, but, but, but what, I'll give you credit for that. But what has gone wrong? I think there are no role trends. models. It's, there's it's, just or, not enough role or, or, models. Maybe, or fashion trends oh, who, or for who the role models are have shifted it's right. pop culture you know? it's pop culture and yeah. social media it's information. you know everybody's fo- mob mentality nobody's really original they're afraid to be original i right. think you get bullied out of originality mm-hmm. and so you, and have you a know lot what of i followers. think it is reality tv yeah and it's, um, infor- and it's information maybe. lace fronts mm-hmm. were made for movies and pictures it wasn't made and, to go out to the club and theater like, and, and stage yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. the lace front you got to blend it in with some certain kind of makeup and yeah. put the glue there but if you wear it out to the club and the club is hot and it start <laughs> melting <laughs> That, that ain't what it was made for. Like, I, so I think a lot of it is just information. Yeah. So why did they call you the nun? Probably because uh, everything was like this. Yeah. Oh. Buttoned up. She didn't. I. Know I, 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 I um, but it was still sexy. Yeah. I never. I've just never been that girl that um, like to expose a lot. You know, I, I, that's just never been me. And to the real fans, watch Never Gonna Get It when Terry and them are standing at the bar. She'll oh, never yeah. move in, because I, she I don't want them shock. to see her butt. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like Cindy Brady. Remember that? Um, yeah. I was like, when that camera started rolling, I was like, first of all, just even thing. getting me there I, in that, <laughs> those, that whatever that I had thing. on, that I dress. thought I was going to have a nervous breakdown. And I remember the day that they, um, the stylists had come up with that. The girls were all, oh, yeah. <laughs> And they were like, Terry's not going to do it. And um, somebody came and got me because you guys were in the dance room talking about it together and trying on the clothes. And then they came and got me and I walked in the room and there's a photo. Right. I, have, I just saw it. It's you have Instagram. that photo? Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's yeah. a photo of me looking like this. I was so outdone. After the fitting. I, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I was so outdone. I was like, I got to wear this. I was, my nerves were shot. So the day of the video shoot, I could barely move. I was like, Yeah, but 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 let's go <laughs> but let's go do a secret. When a girl is that nude, what is the best stocking to wear? Well, we, uh, Danny Flynn, who was our stylist at the time, he um, had gotten these pantyhose that we still wear to this day. Yeah, but um, Donna like Karen Beal folks. It's with a fishnet. With a fishnet, right? Yeah, a fishnet. Yeah, because a fishnet makes you feel you like you. It, 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 it kind of an industrial yeah. strength fishnet. Yeah. I'm gonna call it industrial. It is industrial, uh, like a dance skin. It 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 is it's it pulls you in. Yeah, it really does. Mm-hmm. And but um, that wasn't that wasn't the issue for me. Yeah, but that but that's information that make it not look so cheap and and hoe like. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I see what you're saying. You know, it it, yeah. it makes you still be wifey material. Yeah, wifey Aww. material. Okay, <laughs> so let's fast forward. How does it feel now for your dresses to be at the Smithsonian? in the Museum of African American History and Culture. You know, it's surreal to um, to know that our dresses are in the Smithsonian, um, the African American Museum of Black History and, and Culture. Um, it's surreal, but at the same time, that seeing them was the first time I actually felt accomplished. I mm. felt, wow, we achieved, we really, this was a, a high achievement here. That was the first time I felt like that. It just felt like a dream, and really I felt so undeserving in the history of all of the music, the African-American music that has shaped the music of America um, on display, you know, the the, the the relics and the wardrobe and the, and the things of, of everything I just mentioned. It's so major to me, and then to see our dresses there <clears throat> as a part of it, I just felt really undeserving because we were in the, the company of such great artists, mm-hmm. such great people. <laughs> you know what's very interesting? That I think that you might be the only girls group that's dresses and wardrobe is in the museum. 
Interesting. That's of all heard, the girls groups so that have been, I think that, that it, you yeah. all are the only yeah. girls group. So it just says Very, something about mm, the intersection awesome. of style and fashion and music that we talked about. So we're going to come back. Yes. We've got to talk about what? Free your... Free your mind. Free your That's mind. right. We'll be back. The Funky Divas Podcast. Please welcome one of my favorites, In Vogue! The Funky Divas of Soul. In Vogue! In Vogue! In Vogue! In Vogue! This is In Vogue! 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 Funky Divas! In Vogue! In Vogue! In Vogue! In Vogue! In Vogue! The Funky Divas! In Vogue! Sensational! In Vogue! In Vogue! In Vogue! Everybody, this is the Funky Divas Podcast. What up, what I'm Cindy. up? I'm Terry. I'm Rona. And, and we're, we're in Vogue. And this is the Funky Divas Podcast. Show right. up. Free your mind. Free your yeah. mind. That video will probably... Directed by Mark Romanic. Woo. Mm -hmm. But I guess podcasts want to know stuff that people don't know. Do you remember how evil that first edit was? No. Of uh, Free Your Mind? Mm -hmm. it, you're saying visually it looked more evil? Yeah. I don't remember oh, that. I do remember. I don't it was Because it could. Oh, I, I could remember. See it. It, could. it was. Right. I remember. Oh, it dark, was huh? very dark. Monkeys really? with pins and them. Yeah, we had, oh, yeah, we had yeah. them remove some things out of oh that video. Oh my gosh. Why don't I remember that? And that was before <laughs> no, we know all the stuff we know now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but the video. I want to go down that rabbit hole. Not rabbit hole. But the video was amazing. It was amazing. And you know what? That video still looks so current. Like when you see yeah. it today it doesn't look like it was so many all those years ago yeah just the fashion mm -hmm. the the music the style that just visually it looked mm -hmm. like it, it it could have been shot today right, i right. have a question frank how did the runway thing come about did i mean was the well did that mark was romantic... shout out to mark romantic right yeah. uh, idea. Would, you know we, you know you see and, and and he had just done nine inch nails remember how dark that video was? yes okay yep. so some yep. of those mm -hmm. elements were in they for sure your mind were. when we all <laughs> saw it the animals looking weird uh -huh. and stuff and stuff and we said okay, take that out <laughs> but but we knew the fashion was on point who was yes. the stylist for that that oh. was some, Danny Flynn Danny Flynn no it was some girl yeah y'all had a different no girl. it was a girl that did our hair but Danny didn't put the wardrobe together no that Danny was that was wardrobe. that was Mugler wasn't that Mugler outfits no I, maybe the, Danny oversaw remember it was I remember there it was a girl who had from pulled designers, but, like some designer uh -huh. stuff and I think Danny oversaw it. I don't okay. know. Maybe I'm wrong. I just remember those pants had to be sewn on. Right, me. right, right. You know, so because so, remember it was like really Mugler. I think it was. It was really weird stuff like chrome pants. Pieces. Yeah, yeah, long capes and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But the designers. runway, um, I don't, I don't, I think I guess it was the art director because I love the runway though. So but, was but the, it, did but the, it came from? I think it came from them seeing the choreography. Okay, that's oh, what I was okay. getting ready to ask. Yeah, yeah, Did the yeah, choreography they, they, come first or the runway they came saw, first you, and then they you guys? They saw that you were walking and and, 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 it, and it came from the choreography. Whatever. Remember we wanted, to, we wanted to take that runway and put it on tour? Wow, I remember that. It had the chandeliers. It had the wood. It yeah. had the, like... It was, it was, it was, those were the good old days. I know. <laughs> okay. One more thing about For Your Mind that a lot of people comment on. The lyrics in that song right. st are still very relevant today. Yeah. And back then, I would have never guessed that the consciousness right, right. of yeah. America mm -hmm. would be at, at a place where you would, right, know, like, would like, be yeah. at, at a state where, where you have to still discuss mm -hmm. prejudice and unacceptance and bias. things and bias. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here we are. So, you know, when we perform that song in our concert, it's like an anthem now. Like, yeah. so many people are singing along. Like, sometimes before we even get to that song, people are going, Free Your Mind! Hey, did you... What did, are you going to do for your mind? Did anybody see Rihanna receive her award at NAACP? Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. Like, like, Amazing. I thought of Free Your Mind when she said, pull up. Mm. If you hear the speech. Yeah, you should go and look. Yeah, okay. She okay. was... Okay. You know, let's let, we we gotta okay. do this together. Good. It's good. saying we gotta yeah, do this together. Mariana. So pull up. Oh, yeah. You gotta listen okay. to it. And I, okay. I don't know well, why I thought for your mind. You know, it was like wow, she's kind of 
telling the essence of free your mind. Mm. Mm. You, you got to look okay. hear it. Okay. Yeah. And I think that you all have influenced someone like Rihanna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, she's sure. fused that fashion and that music oh, no and yeah. she's, you know, she's bold. She's really coming to her own. You know, and I mm -hmm. want to take a little credit for that, uh, real humble. <laughs> I worked with Rihanna. Oh. You know, and, 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 and I definitely took some of the in vogue elements to her. There's no doubt about it. Mm. Like I saw Rihanna, uh, she had done a tribute for Destiny's Child with Anne Marie and oh, Tierra that. Marie. Yeah, that and was good. The first day Rihanna didn't come to rehearsal because she had an engagement, but she walked into that room the next day. I was like, "Who the hell is that?" And I'll mm. never forget it. And for some reason, we just became like sisters and brothers. Kind of remind me of my in vogue relationship. She just embraced me, and then uh, we, we end up at a vibe award. And some girl came behind me and tapped me on the back. I got it, Frank. And so I got to do Unfaithful with her in SOS. So if you look at SOS and Unfaithful, you 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 will see the in vogue isms I call them. Mm, and uh, so she she uh. took those things with her from then on because she was more island before I got her, if you remember. Mm. But then once you know we, we taught her how to bevel. Everybody knows in vogue knows how to bevel on the red carpet. We we taught her how to keep her knees straight, and high heels. You know, so there are in vogue things. And then she took the fashion out of here. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, my God. Just took it to a whole nother. Oh, yeah. 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 Shout out to whoever her stylist is yes. as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So what advice can you all, do you all give to? Can you all give to some young, um, your listeners that are young and new that are coming up? You know, I always say, you know, when you're in a, a group, a girl group, you have to have a group mentality, mm -hmm. a team player mentality. And you have to be really in touch and centered with yourself uh, just for the balance alone and understand that it's not about being competitive with each other, but about understanding what each person contributes to the whole because that's what makes it what it is. It's not, well, I can't say this about other groups, but for us it's never been just about one girl in our group. I mean, our fans pick and choose, but our mentality is always, you know, been in a place where we understood it wasn't just about any individual in our group and um and understanding the differences that you each have honoring that respecting it um and, and knowing that it's those unique differences that make it or has the potential to make it great terry don't you think you all are rare because like i've worked with a lot of female groups and this no disrespect to any of them but it was always so amazing that denny and them picked everybody that gets holding a, a stage by themselves. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, okay, you're going to lead, you got it. You're mm -hmm. going to lead, you got it. You're going to lead, you're going to got it. And that still exists today. And I, and I just think, you know, and then fans, when they see that everybody can't sing, they make somebody be the lead singer. Mm -hmm. But but really, they can't sing. Yeah. But for some reason, the science of your group was so amazing that you know, I, I I know everything about in vogue. I, I feel like sometimes I'm an invisible member. You know, yeah, you uh, are. Uh, you, are. You, know, you are. Uh, uh, <laughs> like I remember the first album. You know, a lot of this stuff was you know, hold on. It was you lit starting it and Cindy coming in with it, and for some reason you all were featured a little more in the first project. You know, and then now in the projects today. Luckily, you know, I always my hats off to Rona. She comes in there and she can kill it, yep. and she keeps y'all doing your steps good yeah. too, people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> shout, yeah. out to shout out to Rona Bennett. Shout out to Rona Bennett and, uh, to Rona Bennett and, and like, her Frank, ten. Is that count? right, Frank? I said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, so, so it's like Thank always. <laughs> so, so I think you got to always think of a group like a <laughs> franchise, like a starting five, or mm -hmm. a starting four. Any such thing as that in basketball, but still. That's how I've always seen it in Vogue. You always had a starting five or four or whatever, you know? Yeah. And, and, and people don't, I don't know why people don't think of that, you know? Well, I have a question. Yeah. Has that been a positive? Oh, hell yeah. Or maybe a negative? Oh, no, it's definitely a positive. Okay. Because it's just like, I always think of show business like sports, Sheila. It's like, like I, used to, I played basketball a little bit in high school and college. I used to hate to play with scrubs, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you play with people that are good, your game is better or something. Absolutely, you know, you, you yeah. Pass. So yeah. this has got to be right when you know she going to hit that note and she right. going to kill it mm -hmm. over there and he going to do whatever, you know? And I think that is so, it, it's healthy competition. Right. So it's got to be a plus. I don't see anything about it. Other than someone's ego getting in the way, right? Now that's right. where yeah, I'm yeah, going, yeah, yeah. right? So that's... how let's talk about transitions. 
because you all are a group that's been able to, the brand is bigger and has withstood the test I call of time. But I'm curious to see how you dealt with that. What drives me is to continue to work, keep working. Um, so whatever configuration I got to deal with, I'm looking at that and my focus is on how to make that work. I don't try to trip on what it was. Um, I look at what it is and then just try and continue on with that. And I think for Cindy and I, um, we wanted to continue to work and this is, we love to do this and, and we're grateful, you know, for the opportunity and, and God graced us with Rona Bennett. Yeah. You know, and so, and, and again, going back to the fact that the brand um, has, has uh, superseded us individually. And, and so it's always been about the brand, thank God. You know, it's still fun. We have fun with each other. You know, it was, it was fun before, right. um, I mean. you know, but unfortunately the other two are not here to have fun and they didn't want to play with us <laughs> any longer. <laughs> and so, so now, you know, this, this trio is having a great time. You know, we're, we're appreciative for the opportunity yeah. Yeah. to continue. And, and, and can I talk about the elephant in the room a little bit? Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. Like when, when in Vogue uh, came together for the Sylvia Rome project, I was so happy. I was too. I was so How happy. No, were, no, yeah. no, none of the fans got what I got. Okay, <laughs> but like when they all walked in the room and they start doing the choreography and dancing and stuff like that, I hadn't been that happy in a thousand years. Aww. Okay, I mean I, I can't even explain I it. Mean, to I, I felt yeah, it. yeah, you know, I like and I was like just skipping to rehearsal every morning <laughs> and 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 stuff like that. I just I, you just don't understand it. And then the manager, you know, he had brought flowers for everybody. He was happy as hell. Shout you out to know. DLB. You know, uh, <laughs> It was just, it's, I, I don't know, his happiness was, it had to be as good as my happiness because we were, we had beat everybody there and we had hors d'oeuvres and chicken and, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then, and then in the, in the room, it was totally, totally, totally magic. It was it magic. Was. So it I was. would hope yep, it was. that what holds you there and keeps you going is the magic that happens on yes, stage absolutely. or in the rehearsal like that. And the negative part of it though is, so I always get a lot of people who, after that event happened, like, oh, it's so great to see them all together, you know, even with Rona and everybody like that. It's just so amazing, so wonderful. You know, I just hope it works out, you know, and I just, and, and because it was so magical, I just knew it would work out. And, but I think something that Terry always checks me on, and I check people now. Why didn't the other girls come back? I said, let me just say this to you guys. You can't say all the girls don't want to come together. That You got to stop saying that. Yeah. Terry and Cindy and Rona are welcoming. Yeah. It's just the business, whatever reason, doesn't allow the other two young ladies to come back. But I'm here to say to the world, I know that the three young, young ladies that are sitting here in this podcast will welcome those young ladies back with open arms. Absolutely. Period. Well, we never say never. Okay, never you say know. never. And so I, to, to Max and, and Dawn, come back and do this, okay? It's a way to make this business right. It, it's the magic of the fans. We, we the, the fans need it. I need it again. I need that high. You, you don't even have to work with me, guys. You know, just let me come to the show, okay? Uh, like that, the, I don't the, think the they work. No, 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 I don't. I don't mean that though. I don't mean it like that. I just mean the world needs the whole entire project. That's what I miss. The magic that I got to feel through all the Invogue fans. This is my challenge to you guys. Blow them up every day, okay? Let's say, come together, pull up, and let's make this 30th year something very special. My phone rang the other day, and it said, Max. Mm. I ran to the phone. Now, I don't know if it was one of those butt calls or, you know, what you call them when they phone yeah, actually do yeah. it? Yeah, and, and, uh, and I called <laughs> back, and nobody answered, you know, but I was I was like so happy for that 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 name to come up on my phone that booty because call. I because <laughs> I knew I could have a conversation that is it's, it's destined it's destined to happen people but I think the fans you got to understand that the three ladies that I'm sitting here with right now they have open arms for those young ladies and I think that these three young ladies are committed to in vogue Absolutely. Whatever that is, you, yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah. everything has a season, Yeah, you know, um, yeah, and for right. 30 years, you know, so I agree with you, Frank, but season. 
I'm happy that we have these yeah, three yes, that are ready too. to continue on and carry on the legacy of In Vogue. Yes. Bless up. So we got to wrap up, ladies. Yep. We have to wrap oh. up the Funky this Divas podcast. Fun. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. This was fun. Next time we have to open the lines, though, because we want Please. people to call in so we can have a conversation. Y'all yeah. can ask questions. And mm-hmm. let's just connect, you guys. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us on the Funky Divas podcast. Funky Divas. Yep. Shout Join out to next Frank time. and Sheila. Yes. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you. Congratulations on 30 Thank you for years. 30 years. Thank you. Thank you.